Hello. How are you? Uh, my name is Bennett Kavanagh. Is whatever you're going to do how you make a living? No, so I make a living as a music teacher at the minute. Hopefully, um, hopefully this will take over and I can earn a career from that. Fantastic. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, not only am I a comedian, I'm a musical comedian. Give me a cheer if you're a fan of the guitar. Yeah. Well, that's a real shame. <laughs> so, I'm able to get on with what I can do with a lot of grace and dignity. I, I just want to say, I really hope I achieve that today. Here's the first song. I got into an Uber, but it was not for me. And I was too awkward to get out, so now I live in Leeds. Okay. I should explain, Amanda, um, Uber, it's like a chauffeur you get from your phone. <laughs> Just a... Just a... Oh, I'm enjoying this now. Uh, this next song is called An Episode of Medieval Top Gear. Hey, what's the horsepower on that thing? One! <laughs> 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 Simon loves it. I knew a girl who had a smoking habit and that's why she was a terrible nun. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Simon finds this funny, now we're in trouble. Thank you very much, thank you. Oh, Bennett, you've made somebody very happy. Actually, it was funny. Thank you. Oh, thank really? You. I actually don't find comedians that funny, but you made me laugh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Focus. I am focused, I just don't know if... Are you going to talk? Oh. Ah. Hello? <laughs> Hi there! I'm a bit scared. This is weird. Hello, humans. <laughs> My name is Mr. Cuddles. I'm going to uh, win the money. That's why I'm here today on Britain's Got Talent. Tell you what I'm going to do with the money. I'm going to rule the world. <laughs> Unveil the disguise of Tron. <laughs> I knew you were going to Hold do on, that. hold on. Now, this may look like just uh, spray painted cardboard, but this is advanced science. Simon! Yes. Would you please think of your favorite celebrity? Yes. Make it somebody really famous, really big. I've done it, I've done it, I've done All it. right, concentrate. I'm concentrating. All right, activate the disguise of Trump. I am disguised as Simon's favorite celebrity. <laughs> I got a joke for you. What do you get if you mix Simon with a cephalopod? Cal Amari. All right, put me back. All right, I'm going to reveal to you the time machine. Simon, Simon, what? please. I love it. No, you don't. That went very well. Babe, it was painful to watch. Yeah, that right. was painful, but I feel tired for him. You, you can't put everyone through. That's it. Thank you. I think Simon liked it because it was about you. <laughs> you want a yes or a no, Simon? Simon? Yes? Would you like to give him a yes or a no, dear? I will. Yes. Thank you, Simon. Amanda? Yes. No, it's a no. It's a no. All right, I'm going to say no too, but thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Wow, what a trip. <laughs> Whoa, I'm definitely here. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Go on. Okay, are you ready for this? Oh. The Maypole has arrived. 
and I want to see and put you through your paces. How do you think you're going to do this? Because I'm ready for you. I haven't even asked a question. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a question. <laughs> Hello, uh, what's your name? You have in front of you Miss Maple. Can I tell you something? Yes, you've got a plan. Cameraman Rory here. He loves a pole. OK. <laughs> Has it got ribbons on it? <laughs> <laughs> Um, now, shall we do a bit of dancing? If you do it with me, yeah. I'll do it with you. Here we go. Let's bring in the pole. We've got a swing ball. Right, so let's go um, right to it. Now, if you do recognise this from your garden... But this is new. <laughs> Apologies. Oh. We've uh, cut the ball off Sorry the... Um, <laughs> the uh, swing ball. Yeah. Because nobody likes balls in the face. No, no, no. I think we're ready to go. Wow. OK, are you ready? Let's do it. What music do you want? Anything. Play it. Five bad boys with a power to Not that. You. Your miles. What song do you want? I fancy English Country Garden. Beautiful song. Totally. Let's do it. For real? In an English Country Garden. There we go, there we go. Now the other way. <laughs> and if you can believe it, that just made air. <laughs> What's your name? Miss Maple. Apart from being Miss Maple, do you have a normal job? No. I really do this a lot, from April to September. What about of October to April? <laughs> We're dying to see what you and your Maypole can do. We have to start the Maypole. Welcome, Miss Spring. Miss Spring. Sunshine. It's the sunshine. We need celebrities to hold our women. Well, they've got it here, unfortunately. <laughs> We do indeed! Anton Deck joining the Maypole at the London Palladium! Come on, Gun! Come I'm on! I'm gonna watch. We're going to do the barber's pole. Point your toe and off we go. <laughs> I've got an idea, an idea that might make this work. Can we just do the same thing again with a slightly different track? <laughs> do you want to get in place? Let's get ready to <laughs> rumble! I thought it was charming, and that's something we don't see enough of in this day and age. Really appreciate that. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I thought that was hilarious and funny and sweet. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Or should we vote? OK, I'm going to kick this off with a no. David. The Queen of the Maple says yes! Yeah! It's a yes from me. Stay away from me. <laughs> so... Yes. I'm going to say yes. Yeah! Right, come on, Donna. Right. Here we go. Here we go. A new way to use a swing ball slash maple tree. Right, this could catch on. Yeah, I don't think it will. <laughs> Cue the Wimbledon music now. I love that song. Get ready. One nil to me. It's OK, I've learned to dance. Guys, we've got to wait. Because <laughs> that's going to keep happening, isn't it? Good luck. OK. One nil. <laughs> Sorry about the duck. Good luck, Donna. Two nil. That was cheeky. You reversed it. What? You reversed it. Jeez. Jeez. Aggressive. Well, I'll tell you what, that's the first time I've ever had fun on ITV2. This could be my uh, opportunity to change the face of karaoke singing. Welcome to America's Got Talent. What's your name? Uh, my name is Andy. Now, what do you do for a living, Andy? I'm a, a box office attendant at a theater. Oh. So what, what are you going to do for us tonight? I'm going to be doing some karaoke singing for you. Oh. OK. Go for it, Andy. Thank you. Thank you. Tequila. whole album, actually. <laughs> it was so stupid, I loved it. Thank you. <laughs> Julia. I have props to you because I feel like it's actually hard to be 
doing that to get that kind of reaction. So, <laughs> so I actually think it's brilliant. Well done. Gabrielle. It's so wrong, it's right. I want to see what the next song is. Kelly, song choice is always important on this. And not only the song choice, but your exuberance and your excitement. I love you. Okay, Howie, yes or no? Yes, I want to see more. Gabrielle? Yes! Julianne? Yes! I can't believe I'm saying this. Yes. Oh, Andy, I know. Oh, this, this way, Andy. It's okay, you do it. Andy! And is Alex Hooper from Los Angeles, California. And tell me why you've entered the show this year. I just want to inspire the world through happiness, positivity, and comedy. I like that. I love a good belly laugh. Me too. All right, Alex. Well, look, you've got about two minutes, so good luck. Thank you. Before I begin, I'd like to acknowledge your host, Tyra Banks. What? Tyra, I truly admire your courage. It must be so difficult to host a show like this and still find a way to make it about you. <laughs> Somebody get his ass. Oh, that was just an appetizer. Howie Mandel. Yes. A Canadian judging America's Got Talent? What happened? Did they already find all three talented Canadians? I've always wanted to know what a big toe would look like if it were a person. <laughs> Enough with Bobby's world. Let's move on to Spice World. Oh, gosh. Mel B. Scary Spice, hey? The only thing scary about you was your solo career. <laughs> Magical. Four children, and yet your body looks as though you haven't paid attention to any of them. Oh, no, he didn't. Heidi, he did. you are a natural beauty. Why does it look like your face went through a Sephora sample sale? Oh, my God. What? I want to hear what you're going to say about oh, Simon. Oh, I'm getting to him. Don't you worry. Simon! Hello. Simon, I'm confused. Didn't we form this country to get away from Brits like you? <laughs> calm down, peasants, calm down. <laughs> but Simon, from all of us, thank you for fixing your British teeth. Those things are so straight and white, they were just offered positions in Trump's cabinet. <laughs> Hello, I'm Big Ben G. I'm here to bring love, life, and love to you. Come on. Hello. Okay, Benji and Danny, how old are you? I am 73 years old. Wow, you look I great. great. Harvey. What, darling? You are as handsome as my husband. Is he here? Can we meet your yes, husband? Yes, he's here. He's here. Wow. Uh -huh. It's like I'm looking in the mirror. Yes, I'm always fascinated with bald men, but I fall in love with Simon, darling. <laughs> What do you love about Simon so much? 
he pretends that he's tough, but inside of him is juicy with love. Juicy. <laughs> Simon is juicy inside. Oh, okay. and are you going to sing or dance or? I can dance. No, I can sing. No, but what? I can entertain people. No, but Singing what? is God's gift. What but are? What but are... entertaining is my passion. What are you going to do? I am going to sing. Okay, can we just do it? <laughs> Would you give me a kiss letter? Hug and kiss yes. letter? Yes. If you do yes. well, you can have a snog, yes. <laughs> okay. It's the first time on the stage, actually. I've never been on the stage. Wow. Before. You're a little bit behind the beats on that one, Benji. I know, darling, because yeah. I get excited when I see you. I get it. I get it. Howie, you know, you are adorable, you're wonderful, but it is a no for me. Oh, no, Howie. Mel? I just think you got to do what you wanted to do today, which was serenade Simon. Okay. But for me today, I'm sorry it's a no. No? Heidi? I really like you, but it's going to be a no. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Benji, I would have said yes, but there you go. Oh, thank you, Simon. Therefore, I think you should come up for the juicy snack. I love to do that. Oh, my God, my dream has come true. Michelle. I don't know if she ever was in one. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> if you want to come and kiss Heidi, you can. <laughs> yes! <laughs> you know, just because he said yeah, so no, doesn't ahead. mean you have to. He wants to. <laughs> We're gonna bring you on set. Okay. All set for you on stage, so we'll just head down this way. Okay. Do you wanna do it? Yeah, I want Come on, to. let's get you out Go there. on then. Go and make them laugh. Cool. It's all yours. Good luck, have fun. Hello. Hi. Hello. What's your name? Uh, Gattis Kandes. Where are you from? Uh, Latvia. Okay, from Latvia. Why did you, why did you come here? Uh, I came, came here to live. My name is Gattis Kandis and I'm originally from Latvia, but now I live in uh, West Hendon near Sainsbury's and I'm going to be doing stand-up comedy. Uh, at the gigs I've been doing, uh, people usually laugh, but then sometimes I get heckled and it's painful and sometimes they're just quiet, which is also painful. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing Simon and then I found out Carmen Electra is going to be there. Very excited to see her and um, the other two judges. <laughs>
Well, David Williams is obviously he's a he's a comedian. All oh, right. Okay. I, I didn't know that David's gonna be there. Okay. Do you know who he is? No. Okay. Good luck. Um. Okay. Uh, um, okay. Uh, hello. Uh, are there any guys with big muscles in the audience? No, good, then I'll talk about them. Um, it, you, know, you know those big muscles make those guys so heavy that they cannot ride a pony. Um, however, they can break a fragile toilet seat. I mean, I mean, do they work out to attract the ladies? Well, actually the ladies are attracted to what's inside of a man. Uh, back me up, ladies. If you agree, say yeah. <laughs> Rapidly moving on. Uh, public toilets can't live without them, can't live in them either. Uh, because there is no fridge and microwave there. <laughs> <laughs> Often when I use the male toilet, some guys there uh, fart very loud, and I don't like that. So when possible, I sneak into the ladies' toilets instead, uh, because they're much more discreet about it. Well, at least when they know that I am there. <laughs> uh, seeing is believing, and weeing is relieving. Funniest bloke we've had in Hammersmith. More. Yes. <laughs> are, are you well? Yeah. No, you're not a well. You, you're a person. <laughs> what is going on here? You are the funniest unfunniest comedian I have ever heard in my life. I mean, absolute rubbish, but <laughs> it actually really, really made me laugh. Yeah, that, that was my uh, aim, to make you laugh. Well, you certainly did that, Gattis. It was so bad that it was actually brilliant. Yeah. You mustn't change. You seriously must not change. Not even the jumper. Keep the jumper. <laughs> well, what's wrong with my jumper? There's nothing mate. wrong with it. It's hilarious. I'm going to kick this off because you did actually make me laugh and that's what comedians are supposed to do, so I'm going to say yes. Thank you, oh. Thank you so much. Can they say yes? Oh. It's a no from me today. Oh. David? So it rests with me. The way you must judge comedy is, did it make you laugh? It made me laugh. I'm going to say yes. yes. Honest to God, one of the funniest comedians. I can't believe it. <laughs> Three yeses. No, they're, they're not sure why they found you funny, but they found you funny. <laughs> we'll see you yeah. in the next round. Thank Off you go. Well, Until I pop. Um, what about my bag? We'll get that bag in a minute. <laughs> Welcome, and what's your name, please? My name is Lily Davis. And where are you from? Essex, but originally from Romania. Oh, from Romania. <laughs> How long have you lived here for? 30 years. 30 years? I came when I was a little girl. Oh, I'm <laughs> sure. Are you married, Lily? No. No? Single. Single. And looking. We have some very attractive people in the audience tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Simon, I'm not looking at the audience. I'm looking right in front of me. OK. 
Okay. Well, look, Lily, what are you going to do for us? I'm going to perform an original song I've written for somebody I have a crush on. If it is David, there will be an X. Oh. Do you think you could win, darling? Why not? Everything is possible. Good luck. Thank you. And it's called I Have a Crush on You. There's so many girls you see, but they are not quite like me, ready to be there for you. Blonde brunettes, petite and slim, keen to do your every whim, but somehow they're not like me. Dear David, I like you, but I don't know what to do, cause my heart is not for you. Because I love you, Simon, Simon, Simon. I want to kiss and maybe more. But all the girls are Simon, Simon, Simon. On top of that, you're spoken for. Yes! is, Simon, it's a song you can now sing to yourself in the mirror. <laughs> it was actually a lovely song. Beautiful song. I wrote it. I don't doubt that. I mean, I wasn't really thinking it was going to be Elton John or something, was it? <laughs> it was nice. I got a little name check at the beginning. And I get it. I got a name check. I get it. <laughs> and that was a very, very catchy song. Beautiful song. Thank you so much. Uh, Alicia. So if we put you through, Lily, are you only going to sing songs about Simon? No! I would, I would say uh, what you're good at doing, and I think <laughs> this is your thing. <laughs> we've been making this show for 14 years. Uh, we've had some outstanding moments when we've found someone truly special, or perhaps a song which is so haunting, so beautiful, <laughs> that you will never forget. And this is in the top three. <laughs> I thought the song, not just the melody, the lyric, so beautiful, All right, so vote. touching. Let's okay. have a vote. <laughs> got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I'm going to say yes. <laughs> I'm going to give you a teeny tiny yes. <laughs> Amanda. Yes. <laughs> Lily, it's four yeses. <laughs> I get the kiss? Oh, you bet. <laughs> Come here. Oh! One of the most <laughs> beautiful songs I've ever heard. Stop it, stop it. It's too much and now. You are one of my favourite ever auditions. <laughs> yeah. Just step away from the Simon, please. Step away from the Simon. Thank you. Leo's. Leo's. I'm from Israel. And what are you going to be doing for us today? I'm a mentalist. I do telekinesis. What's it called? Telekinesis. 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 Am I saying this correctly? Well, yes, you're saying it with correct. an Israeli accent. Well, how do you, how, what it's is telekin it? Telekinesis. 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 I'm so, moving objects with my mind. Okay. So, do you think this is worth a million dollar act? 
You are the judges. Good answer. Go for it. I don't have any more questions. I'm so intrigued. Get him. <laughs> He's very serious. Is he serious? What's he going to move? Is it an ice cream cone? Funny. I just love everything about you. I want to say yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Hilarious. I'm 100% uh, behind Mel B on this. You are brilliant. You're a star. You're funny. I'm going to give you your second yes. I didn't love the act. Honestly, what? You didn't like that? the party pooper. Oh. It's gonna be a no. Two yeses, one no. It's up to Simon. Come on, Simon. Um, when it first started, I thought, this is really stupid. And then I thought, no, it's very stupid. And then I thought, no, this was actually really funny. <laughs> this um, is not, uh, this is not comedy. <laughs> I'd like to remove my ex, please. Yes! You've got your third yes, you're on your way. Hello. Hello, Simon. Nice to meet you. What's your name? My name is Peter Panduranga. And where are you from, Peter? I am from Germany. He's a bit like Michael Douglas, looks a bit like Michael Douglas, yeah, doesn't he? Does. He? Why have you entered Britain's Got Talent? Yes, because the British show is the best in the world. I would agree with no. you. <laughs> I especially composed for this great competition, <clears throat> which was invented by you, Simon. Thank you very much for My this. Pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> I eventually... believe in giving things back to people, Peter. Yeah. 
anyway, what was I going to say? Uh, you were saying because of me uh, and how much I've given to millions of people, you've composed a beautiful oh, yeah. song. The song I do tonight is dedicated to my wife. After 30 years, I'm still in love with her. Okay, good luck. What a nice man. Let me always follow you My heart is full of joy When I just follow you Well, you've made the effort, haven't you? <laughs> How are you? Very well, thank you. Good. Who are you, please? We're called the Lazy Generation, and we're a group of athletes. We create sports with a bit of a twist, and we're from London in England. I was just about to say. We're British. So you've flown in from London to do this? Yeah. How was the flight? Long. Yeah, it is. And tell me why you've decided to come on The American Show. Truthfully, because Britain's Got Talent would only let us dance around with ice in our pants. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so you didn't want to do that, so that's why you came to America. Exactly. Is Got more me. classy here? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. 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 <laughs> Understood. OK, right, so I'm not going to ask you any more questions. Good luck. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Warm up first. <laughs> Good, covering themselves. Are you boys ready? Is everyone else ready?
They have thumbtacks in their feet. Oh my God! Yes. You need help? Yes. Oh my God! They're stuck in right in. Look, it's right in his knee. But not quickly enough for local musician Andrew Fenlon. Do you think you have a chance? Like, you could be the next American Idol? Or? Yeah, yeah. If I don't get interviewed all the time, this is messing me up. Seriously. Okay, it wasn't the looming audition that was making him tense. It was the waiting. I'm starting to get the itch to want to get going. <laughs> and the waiting. And the waiting. It's grueling. I just want to... You know, cut this stuff, man, you know? You're single, you're married, you have kids? Uh, no. Yes, single. Yes, totally single. You hear that, everybody? I'm single. All right, well, I'm gonna send you anything else all we right. should know? No, not really. We got it all? All right, yeah. Covered? Good yeah, luck. I'm ready. Head on that way. Oh, I'm in there? That's where they're, they're judges are. Oh, I'm about to go? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. Whoa, you wanna wait? No, you like to no. wait. No, I'm I'm rear and ready, man. I'm ready to go. Alright, we're well, rear and ready right through Sorry. that. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 How are you? Come in. Come in. And what's your name? My name's Andrew Fenlon. Andrew. And why are you here, Andrew? I'm here auditioning for American Idol. Should be fairly obvious right. at this point. Okay. Also like <laughs> waiting around. Okay. Um I think you know why I was asking the question. What, what brought you here to audition? What brought me here to audition? I don't think it's that interesting of a question, actually, but Andrew, I think... Andrew, yeah. Andrew, I'm going to just warn you now. If you okay. want to carry on being a smart ass, you can leave the room. Oh, I'm not being a smart ass. So either answer the questions okay. or leave. Okay, no, I'll answer the questions. I'm going to answer your questions. I'm sorry, first of all. Okay, what are you going to sing? I'm going to sing House of the Rising Sun. You know that song? I'm just, okay. All Andrew, right, you are really pushing this. <laughs> no, I, all right, I'm just gonna sing it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to push any buttons. All right, okay, here we go. There is a house in New Orleans. It's called the Rising Sun. And it's been the ruin of many poor boy and God I know I'm one my mother was a tailor she sewed my new blue jeans my father was a gambling man way down in New Orleans Thank you. Are you angry? Am I angry? You very on edge. Tell us, what happened? What happened? Oh, I just am on edge from waiting all day, honestly. Some what? Just from waiting. It's just Well, you know, waiting. the thing is, you want to be in the music business, but you don't want to wait to get into American Idol. That, to me, seems to be a problem. And, That's you know, for one. you to have a bad it's attitude true. about no, that kind of pisses me off. I think you're reading actually. it too far. No, no, I'm not reading it too far. Because you just told me that you were a little bit annoyed that you had to wait Very three annoyed. hours yeah. to come in here and get your shot when there are people that would wait years to do so. So I am now angry at you, who I don't like at all. Well, why are you doing this? So why, why are you with all like the attitude? What's the, what's the problem? No, there's no problem at all. I, I think that, I don't know why you guys, there's no problem. You walked in mm -hmm. very sulky, quite rude, very aggressive, and you've got very, very bad energy. Oh, man. You do. Let's have a little conversation about this. <laughs> I want to, I was trying to seem confident. Confident, oh. it came over the other way. Very arrogant is how it came out. And you know what, you don't have the goods to back it up. That's what I think is disappointing. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with you. I think I do have the goods to back it up. Okay. I'm okay. still getting okay. that attitude. All right. All right. Yes or no? <laughs> Andrew, no. I'm sorry. Victoria? No. Randy? Wasn't good enough today, dog, no. I would That's have said right. yes. You're what? kidding me. How's he starting to You're grow on me? You're kidding. But he's starting to grow on you. You know, I had a feeling. Oh I, I had a feeling oh that you and I were Yeah, we started off bad, bond. but kind of got to like each other. A bonding. Well, I'm well, You know what, Simon? You have an attitude, but you're at least charming. 
There yeah. we go. Hey. No, I, really? this guy Wait a minute. Is, you are know. being really vicious here. I'm Seriously. sorry. I really don't like you. I, I have a I very strong reaction to you. I, I don't know why. But I'm not judging you in this way. You can judge me all you want. I just, I don't like your attitude. This is why we're getting all well here. You can judge quiet you on the end there. You're being awful, right, Victoria? You need a spanking. You need a spanking. That's what you need. Not a second. Thank you. What are we talking about? You need a spanking. There is very naughty. Car. Yes or no? Shut up, Simon. <laughs> this is not good. It's true. We don't this like Turning him off good. is not a good thing. I don't know how I turned him off oh, so. God, did you ever have a girlfriend? Are you well, married? Andrew, live and learn from this one. Uh, yeah. Simon, shut well, up! Like you guys. Well, oh my you guys God. are cool. Thank you. See you later. See you later, ladies. Bye. Ooh, we won't miss you. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. Well, Simon and Randy liked me. The girls got mad. I don't know what I did. He really made me upset. I'm not kidding you. Well, that, that, that didn't show. I think he liked you, Kara. Kara, you, you connected with Kara. Oh, in a way I, could... I have not seen in a long time. What the hell happened? I don't know. I was going to ask you. I don't even know. And we thought Bikini Girl left Kara with a bad taste in her mouth. I feel like I need to go home and take a shower. Hideously after him. arrogant. Ooh, even more arrogant gross. than Simon. My name is Vanessa and I'm from South Pasadena. My question for Simon is, what animal do you think you look like the most? I think it's a lemur. And I remember seeing a nature program once and I thought, that actually looks like me. Sophia, the chihuahua that you posted this morning on your Instagram story, is that yours and do you have more? I have two chihuahuas in my life. Oh, one oh. is my son, and the other one oh, was oh. supposed to be my dog, but she hates me and loves my husband, and she's a very bad dog. Oh, oh. And we have a question for Heidi. I would love to know what her most embarrassing moment is. I have four children, and I would say to them, everything I do is embarrassing. What do you do when you get nervous? Instead of calling it nerves, what I do is call it excitement. Please welcome your house. And I use those nerves to bring me energy. Terry I got it. That is Heidi having lunch. Feel it's Heidi chewing something? Heidi chewing chips. Sounds like a hamster is eating something. Oh my gosh. It's the guy crushing the nuts with his butt cheeks! Mr. Cherry, I love him. <laughs> it was hard. It really hurt. Hey, Heidi. Your hand binoculars are ridiculous. Stop it. You don't understand. They're not binoculars. Yes, they are. No. What it does, it takes the light outside from the outside, sense. and it gets darker around, and then I can actually see better. I need to my glasses. To focus into some parts yes, sometimes. exactly. So it's not it so bright. Because when it's so bright, I can't see what they're doing, and I need to judge. So my family and I are watching AGT, and my dad says, is Beyonce always on this? It's Tyra Banks. Or is it? Blue Ivy. Blue Ivy, sit down right now. Mama got to host this show, Blue. AGT made Simon Cowell so soft. Oh, good oh, good. Oh, yeah. Yes, for me. I want Simon the Savage back. The one who crushed dreams and made people cry for fun. <laughs> off. <laughs> Password is magic. Dad, do you just look? No. Not at the... Are no. you guys talking? No. Freak. Magic. Yes! 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 Magic is the correct <laughs> word. That is cheating. Who heard him tell me the word? That's that cheating. That means that you were cheating already. Jim, <laughs> him. They're him cheating him him because they heard you cheating. <laughs> All right, nice. this is the I'm final sweating. clue. The we clue? are actually tied at the moment, <laughs> and we are going to start with Howie. The okay. password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. <laughs> million. Oh! He's right! Thank That's you very it. much. Everybody. That is the word. Simon and Howie have won. 
Thank you for playing Password. Let's hear it, everybody. You won a million dollars. Where's the check? Where's the check? Word do you think he's thinking of and vice versa? What do you think Howie is thinking of? One word. And when I count to three, you're going to say that word out loud. Clear your mind. OK. This is a mind reading technique to show that you guys are in perfect sync. Okay. okay. Read her mind. Three, two, one. Yes! Earring and shoes. <laughs> Look each other deeply in the eyes, deeply. Three, two, one. Nice! Look at each other deeply. Understand each other. Three, two, one. Lipstick! <laughs> This is freaky! <laughs> Lipstick! Feel the power. Word? You have it? Yeah, yeah. Have it? I got it. Three, two, one. Handsome. handsome. What? Did y'all say handsome? Handsome! That was not, by the way. This is crazy. Uh, I handsome. swear on my life, that was not prep. <laughs> I didn't plan that. We got to study what profession for three years? I know what it was. Dentistry, because she has amazing teeth. She's going to be a dentist. You want to know why I know that? They don't show this backstage. She will actually floss my teeth. Imagine if you turn up and guess who's your dentist, Sofia Vergara. That sounds so sexy. <laughs> It'd be like, you know what? I'll have a filling out a week. How many Emmys have I been nominated for? I'm going to say seven. Two Emmys. Seven times. Let's just go for the seven. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm guessing. I don't know. Four. You didn't let me finish. I was going to say two times two. Well, she should have got more. The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid, to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yeah, no, OK. <laughs> and also, I'm, I'm translating. Yeah. She said grumpy. Okay. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, <laughs> Sophia. A lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, girl, first of all, we have different tastes, and... We, we all have the same taste. Some of them don't know what they, <laughs> what they, what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. <laughs> how is grumpy sometimes, and Simon is sometimes loco, so it, there's nothing... Well, I admit it. I do admit it. Welcome to Buzzer Buddy. Sally, if you were cleaning out Simon's closet, what would you throw away first? If I was cleaning out Simon's uh, closet. You've got very minimal choices here, because he wears the same thing. Yes. Oh, it's, uh, it's between the white t shirt <laughs> and the white dress shirt. And or the bell bottom pants. The white t shirt. The white Simon. Everything. <laughs> Oh, that is everything. It. You know what? <laughs> yeah. I am going to give you that point. That is everything. I am giving you that point. What do you think, audience? They deserve that point. That's pretty much all that Simon wears. Sophia. You, you did so much magic in two and a half minutes that I don't even know what I was seeing. You made me believe in magic. This is amazing. This was better than your audition. And I really want to know what Simon thinks. Simon, did he win you over? I think I helped you. No! I do. I really, really do. I the think magic that... Of Simon. No, by me saying no at the auditions, I think has pushed you to be a better magician. <laughs> and I'm very happy to say on live television, I am officially an idiot. Yeah! No! Howie! You know, we... I, I want to say this from, from my heart here. Uh, what you have done for the show, and as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted to pay you a tribute to show your significance, and most importantly, your importance for the 10 years you've been on the show. Over to you, Terry. Hey, it's out on Sunset Boulevard, OK? Let's take a look. Here we go. Count it down with me, people. Where am I looking? Five, 
Yeah! <laughs>